Hey, so today I'm going to show you how I made this dog bed cover and a macrame dog collar. I'm also gonna bake some dog treats. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I first made the bed with these exact same measurements and then I just make covers. So it's really easy for you to wash. So for the cover I used this fabric that I bleached and a couple other fabrics that are also white beige tones with different textures and also some threads. I wanted to do some on tone stitching around the cover just to make it a little bit more interesting so here I'm just testing it. Uh, I draw some lines and I'm doing some hand stitching and some on my sewing machine and yeah but I just went for the hand stitching because it looks more DIY and I like that. I started by cutting a front panel and I shredded the edges just to give it this shredded look and then cut it two side panels to go well on the side of the front panel so here I'm just sewing them on with my machine Now that I have all the three panels together, I drew with my pencil some lines where I'll be hand stitching. So I did a really simple stitch. I just went just a, a little bit on the back and then um, a little bit more on the front. And at the end, I gave a little knot on the back and left a big chunk of thread coming on the front of the panels that I shredded using a needle and a brush. For the back of the cover I made two panels so I had an opening to then stuff it with the dog bed. As you can see here one is smaller and one is bigger. I hemmed the sides that were going to be on the opening by rolling it twice as you can see here and then just sewing it on the machine. Here I'm lying the bigger panel on top of the smaller panel and measuring to be the same width as the front panel. And I'm just gonna sew this part where they overlap so they don't move around. Moving on to the side of the cover, I cut it four strips of fabric, so two longer ones and two shorter ones, and then I just sew them all together on the sides. And now we're ready to assemble it all together. I laid the front panel on the side panels, making sure the corners were meeting where the side panels were sewed together. And then I just did exactly the same thing for the back panel, and once you sew everything together, you have your cover. Here I'm just turning the right side out and I'm just poking it on the corners to make sure everything is sharp. And that's it. So this is how the bed turned out. I really like it. And most importantly, Kaya, my dog, really likes it. I mean, she spends there most of her day. Now, I'm still learning how to macrame properly, but I really wanted to try to make a dog color especially because the old color was looking like this. <laughs> so I just cut all the fabric out and I kept the hardware. So the closer and the metal ring. And because I'm working with a five millimeter thick macrame cord, uh, I needed to cut one string that was five meters long. I folded the string in half on the middle and then just passed it through um, the clasp like this and then I just passed the two ends of the string through the loop and pulled it to make sure it was secure. Then you want to add the metal ring and finally the last part of the clasp. So you're gonna want to measure your dog's neck or uh, just an old dog collar that you have and find out what length your dog collar should be. For me it was 45 centimeters and so I'm sliding the clasp till there and just marking it with a pencil because I was afraid it was gonna slip. <laughs> so I'm just taking one of the ends and then looping it 
again and then I'm taking the other side and doing exactly the same thing and then you can just use your pencil to make this task a bit easier pull them all the way through and it should be looking something like this you'll want to bring the ring all the way up and we're ready to make the first knot so with your left string you're gonna make a four shape so over the middle and under the right and then the right string will go under the middle and over the left string pull them all the way up like this make sure it is tight and we're gonna do the same to the other side so the right string will go over the middle under the left and the left will go under the middle and over the right one pull it tight and you have your first macrame chord I think it's called a square knot don't come for me and um, you just want to repeat this all the way down really so going always left and then right um, and yeah that's it just make sure that you are tightening the knots all evenly and that you don't leave any gaps in between the knots once you reach close to the clasp you want to do your last knot and with the ends you're going to loop them over uh, the clasp like this so first you want to do one side and then you do the other side pull everything tightly and then turn your color around and you want to go and loop the ends to the some back loops and then just loop it back again like this it's hard to explain but I, I hope you can understand by the video but you just want to make sure everything is super secure and then you can just cut it off and you have it like this that's it um, I was super happy on how the color came out um, I think it looks really good it just gets dirty really easily but I hope you guys try it out because it is really easy to make now to finish up the video I made some dog treats I don't do this that often but they are really easy to make so I'm just preheating the oven here and yes I have a super old oven and you're gonna need oats, flour, peanut butter, an egg and two ripe bananas so you're gonna add one cup of flour, half of peanut butter, the mashed bananas, one cup of oats and the egg and you're gonna stir everything together and then you just want to add some flour to your hands so it doesn't get too sticky and you're gonna roll little balls like this and you can keep them as little balls but I just find it funny to try and shape them poorly shape them into little bones <laughs> but you can also use some cookie cutters and some fun shapes if you have make sure your tray is lined with parchment paper and once you are done with rolling all the cookies then you can put them in the oven and you can leave it for 15 minutes something around that but just keep an eye on it until you see that it's getting a bit golden and crispy just for fun I made some labels using my label maker that was it I did not try them but I think Kaya really enjoyed them I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, follow me on Instagram I do post there more often um, I know I haven't posted that much videos but I do enjoy making them so if you like them too let me know thank you guys and I'll see you next time bye